Dear students, in this video, let us discuss accounting treatment for retirement of a partner. So, in the previous videos, uh, we have discussed about uh, the accounting treatment uh, in case of uh, admission of a partner. So, this is a case of retirement of a partner. So, we are in the middle of uh, the partnership business. One of the or uh, some of the partners may retire from uh, their business so in such cases what is the accounting treatment so we are going to discuss that so here the ratios required in connection with the retirement of uh, a partner we'll discuss so here uh, so now the admission of a partner we have two ratios uh, of course three ratio the first one is old profit sharing ratio second one is uh, sacrifice ratio and the third one is a new profit sharing ratio similarly under retirement of a partner there are two ratios of course three ratios the first one is uh, similar to uh, the previous uh, admission of a partner that is old profit sharing ratio and one more uh, what we had in the admission of a partner was new profit sharing ratio even that is there here also and one more in addition to in, uh, uh, in the place of uh, sacrifice ratio under retirement we have another ratio called gain ratio or it is also called as a benefit ratio. So what do you mean by gain or benefit ratio? So it refers to the ratio in which the remaining partners gain the share of remaining partner on his retirement. See after the retirement, uh, one of the, the, part, uh, the retiring partner is going to go, is uh, going away from the business. So that time, so his share is going to be distributed between the partners who are going to continue the business and so therefore they are going to get benefited out of it. Therefore, this ratio is called as benefit ratio. Now, let us discuss the difference between sacrifice ratio and gain ratio. You can expect this for section A in the final exam. Okay, so now the first point of difference, sacrifice ratio. It is the ratio in which the old partner surrender a part of their share in favor of new partner. So, therefore, it is called as sacrifice ratio. So, the existing partners are going to sacrifice part of their uh, share in favor of a new partner that is why it is called as sacrifice ratio but in case of gain ratio it is the ratio by which the remaining partners acquire the outgoing partner share okay one partner is going out so his share is going to be acquired by the continuing partner so that is the first difference second difference sacrifice ratio is calculated at the time of admission of a new partner whereas gain ratio is calculated at the time of entry or oh sorry retirement of or a death of a partner next one is formula see pro formula to find out sacrifice ratio is old profit sharing ratio minus new profit sharing ratio so the difference between these two in the sense uh, from the old profit sharing ratio we are going to deduct new profit sharing ratio to get the sacrifice ratio but in case of gain ratio it is quite reverse from the new profit sharing ratio we are going to deduct old profit sharing ratio okay the same formula but uh, quite reverse formula to each other next fourth one it reduces the sacrifice ratio reduces the profit sharing ratio of the existing partner because they are going to sacrifice part of their share so therefore it reduces the profit sharing ratio of the existing partner whereas uh, in case of gain ratio it increases the share of the remaining partners next uh, fifth point and the last point it is calculated to determine the amount of compensation to be paid by incoming partners uh, to the sacrificing partner as premium for goodwill okay so this is calculated to determine the amount of compensation to be paid by the partner who is going to admit to the sacrificing partner as a premium for goodwill whereas gain ratio is calculated to determine the amount of compensation to be paid by each of the gaining partner to the outgoing partners as premium of premium for goodwill. So here this is calculated uh, to give the or to determine the amount of compensation to be paid to the existing partners who are going to sacrifice uh, uh, because of the entry of a new partner. Okay, as as premium for goodwill. Whereas here it is okay. It's a compensation to be paid for the outgoing partner. Uh, as a, a premium uh, for goodwill so these are the differences between sacrifice ratio and gain ratio okay now let us uh, work out the problem the first problem 
A, B and C were partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 9 is to 6 is to 5. What is this? So this is the old profit sharing ratio. C retires from partnership. Okay, among these three, C is going to retire. His share was distributed between A and B in the ratio 3 is to 2. Okay, see his share is going to be distributed between uh, these two in the ratio 3 is to 2. So this is called as sacrifice ratio. They have decided to keep their capital in the new profit sharing ratio after C's retirement. Okay, so now the total capital of the firm is decided at 2 lakh. So we are supposed to find out. Okay, as per this problem, if you see the problem, see what is the given information? Old profit sharing ratio is given, then sacrifice ratio is given, capital of the firm is given. So then what is to be calculated? The first one is new ratio, that is new profit sharing ratio, and one more is amount of capital of each individual okay right now let us first find out uh, the new profit sharing ratio so we know the formula new profit sharing ratio okay before that what are the given information i have already explained it okay now uh, new profit sharing ratio is equal to old profit sharing ratio my plus gain ratio okay from the new profit sharing ratio if you deduct old profit sharing ratio you get gain ratio but in these two problems, since these two are given, we are supposed to find out this. So, therefore, the formula is being altered here. Okay, now, old profit sharing ratio. Okay, now let us take the new share of profit share of A. So, his share, old profit sharing ratio, A share is 9 out of 20. 9 plus 6 plus 5 is equal to 20 plus 3 by uh, 5. Okay, 3 by 5 here. So, therefore, it is 21 divided by 20 then new share of b uh, 6 out of 20 here 6 out of 20 plus 2 by 5 is equal to 14 divided by 20 so therefore the new profit sharing ratio is 21 is to 14 or if you reduce it it comes to 3 is to 2 now let us find out the capital of each individual partner from, from capital of a 2 lakh is the total capital into 3 out of 5 is equal to 1 lakh 20 thousand and similarly for B uh, 2 lakh into 2 by 5 is equal to 80 thousand so this is the solution so you can expect as a section A question next we will move on to one more section A problem so A, B, C are partners in a business sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 3 is to 1 respectively on uh, 31st 12 2019 b retires from business for ascertaining the amount due to b goodwill is to be valued twice the average annual profits calculated on the basis of five years profit profits immediately preceding retirement so this is the five years data of profit 4000 first year second year 6000 third year 8000 fourth year 10000 and fifth year it is 5000 what are supposed to be calculated First one, ascertain the amount of goodwill payable to B and pass necessary entries assuming that continuing partners decide to wipe, wipe out or write off goodwill. Now let us move on to the solution. Let first write uh, ascertainment of goodwill. Okay, now see 5 years data is here and find out the total then find out the average so that uh, we get the amount of goodwill so total 33,000 divided by 5 years is equal to 6,600 then amount of goodwill <coughs> is equal to see here we have calculated average annual profits now amount of goodwill is equal to see here twice the average annual profit so 2 into 6,600 so here is the answer 6,600 into 2 years purchase total amount of goodwill is 13,200 this is the goodwill of the firm not of an individual okay now you have to find out the share of retiring partner out of this 13,200 that is the amount supposed to be paid to payable to be okay that is 13,200 into 3 by 7 3 by 7 say so his portion is 3 total is 3 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 so 5,657 now let us move on to the general since there is no information about the new profit sharing ratio and the gain ratio, we have assumed that 
new profit sharing ratio and the gain ratios are similar to the old profit sharing ratio okay the first journal entry is regarding uh, goodwill goodwill uh, account debtor to b's capital account so here the share of b is credited to his account amount is 5657 since they are going to write off that so they are debited to the continuing partners capital account and uh, goodwill account is credited so this goes for this so now this goodwill is not going to continue in the business okay a's capital account his part is 3 by 4 that is uh, the c's capital account 1 by 4 uh, so in the sense 3 is to 3 is to 1 so out of the 3 goes in the form of b so now remaining is 3 is to 1 so total 4 okay we we'll move on to the third problem flow sure and fast were partners sharing profits and losses in the proportion 2 is to 2 is to 1 respectively the balance sheet of the firm as on 31st December 2019 was as follows. So this is the balance sheet. Okay, now sure retires on the day subject to the on that day sub on that day means on when 31st December 2019 to the following conditions. Goodwill of the firm is to be valued at nine thousand. What is the value of the goodwill? Nine thousand. This is the value of goodwill of the firm. Machinery is to be depreciated by ten percent and motor by. 15% okay they are going to be depreciated so therefore they goes to the uh, revaluation account or debit side then stock is to be appreciated by 20% and building by 20, 10% these two goes to the revaluation account debit side credit side sorry the reserve for doubtful to be increased by 975 the existing reserve is 950 sorry 250 that has to be increased by 975 again this is an item of debit side of the or uh, revaluation account so what are supposed to be done first one first general entries you revaluation account goodwill account capital account of the partners and prepare the balance sheet of the company part term okay here this can be expected for section c and uh, a part of it could be like they may ask you to find out prepare revaluation account goodwill account this could be expected even for section b also so usually they won't ask you to pass the general entries but uh, uh, don't be so optimistic so sometimes they may ask you even uh, the journal entries too okay now let us move on to the first journal entries the first journal entry for revaluation of decrease in the value of assets so these are the assets got decreased motor wise motor machinery and motor wine and reserve for doubtful debt uh, created 975 then second one is for increase in the assets stock account data 2500 building account data 2250 to revaluation account 4750 next third journal entry for uh, passing of uh, revaluation profit if you take the difference 4750 minus 3250 debit side the total is 3325 credit side total 4750 so difference is 1425 this is profit when this credit total is greater than the debit total you get profit suppose this total debit total is greater than the credit total then there will be loss it's very simple to calculate so they are supposed to be transferred all the three partners according to their old profit sharing ratio and that is what i did here 574a slow second one sure 570 and uh, fast it is 285 let us move on to the next the next journal entry is about uh, transfer of reserve fund there is a, trans a reserve fund in the balance sheet worth rupees 6000 again that has to be distributed among the old, all the partners according to their old profit sharing ratio next journal entry for goodwill so b is a share see here the total value of the goodwill of the firm is 9000 goodwill created accredited to his account only shoes account is 3600 because 9000 in 2 by 5 so this is again we followed the old profit sharing ratio now this has to be distributed right off the goodwill We assume that we are going to the goodwill is written off. So slows capital account debited. These two accounts are debited to credit goodwill account. So here uh, uh, the ratio is two is to one. So the created goodwill written off to the uh, goodwill. So two thousand four hundred and one thousand two hundred. So the, uh, this one the total is three thousand six hundred. Now. 
the shoes capital account uh, uh, got a balance the total of the shoes capital account 20000 21570 and that has been transferred to shoes loan account so here you can write it as like shoes capital account to cash account sometimes if it is paid then uh, you can write cash account also here it is left to you so you can assume like that usually it's better to assume shoes loan account now let us move on to the ledger. the first one revaluation account this is just copied from the ledger journals so two assets their values got appreciated two assets their values got depreciated and one reserve created 975 so there is a profit the same from journal it is copied here 1425 is the total profit from revaluation of assets next one is goodwill account so goodwill uh, created uh, sorry credited to the old partner 3600 that is distributed among these two in the ratio 2 is to 1 so first show slow 2400 fast 2200 now let us prepare the capital accounts we'll start from slow's capital account so uh, here uh, uh, balance brought down so if you uh, look into the balance sheet the opening balance 12500 revaluation profit 570 reserve fund transfer to his account credited 2400 so total will be 15470 and uh, goodwill so debited to his account 2400 if you see the previous account you will get it or uh, if you see the journal entry you get it so balance carried down 13,070, which goes to the balance sheet so here it is brought down now let us prepare uh, shoes capital account so his balance brought down 15,000 this is from the opening balance sheet then 570 revaluation profit reserve fund uh, yeah this is from uh, transfer to his account and uh, See, sure is our retiring partner, so goodwill is credited to his account 3600. So, total amount supposed to be paid to him is 20,000 21,570. Suppose in the problem, if they ask you to prepare only the ledger accounts, better you start from, yeah, of course, the first one revaluation account, then go to your goodwill account. Then, when you come to the capital accounts, better you first prepare the retiring partner's uh, capital account because see here this amount you have to find out the goodwill amount so of course uh, total value of the goodwill of the firm multiplied by his ratio so that gives the value then this has to be distributed to them so here in their other uh, continuing partners uh, capital account it comes to the debit side in the form of two goodwill account so they are supposed to be distributed on the basis of gain ratio now fast capital account the last person so balance brought down 20,000 then uh, revaluation profit 285 reserve fund 1200 and goodwill debited to his account 1200 so the balance is 20,285 then the next one is balance sheet let us prepare the balance sheet now so cash at bank 1250 debtors uh, 8000 less uh, reserve so existing 250 plus 975 total 1225 so therefore the net debtors is 6775 then stock 12,500 I have written inner column add appreciation 2,500 so total amount will be 15,000 motor van 4,000 add less depreciation 600 net amount 3,400 machinery 17,500 less depreciation 1,750 so 15,750 then building 22,500 add appreciation 2,250 so it will be 24,750 so total assets will be 66,925 now let us move on to the liability side the first liability sundry creditors which is 2000 then bills payable 10,000 shoes loan account from shoes capital account so 21,570 then capital account of slow shows you the balance 13,070 fast it is 20,285 so total 33,355 now the total of liability 2 is 66,925 okay now we'll move on to next problem okay here uh, one thing you have to remember the note goodwill uh, is credited to the extent of retiring partner and it is as uh, written off usually we'll assume in this kind of problem if it is not specifically given whether it is written off or not you have to assume that it is written off so that uh, this journal entry that is uh, retiring uh, continuing partners capital account uh, must supposed to be 
given debit and goodwill account is to be given credit problem so a b c where the partner sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 1 2 is to 1 respectively the balance sheet of the firm is on that day is given here see here credit size 100 creditors bills payable bank overdraft of loan then general reserve first this has to be transferred to the uh, all the partners account credited to partners capital account then profit and loss account is to be credited to partners capital account and of course this is balance brought down in their capital account similarly we have the assets now look at, look at the adjustments b retains on the day subject to the following date uh, on that day that day means in this particular 31st december 2018 the goodwill of the firm is valued at 18000 yes uh, then machinery is to be valued at uh, 31500 Machinery here it is 35000 so there is a depreciation of 3500 then vehicles are valued at rupees 6800 so actual value is 8000 so there is a depreciation then stock is valued at rupees 30000 stock it is 25000 there is a appreciation of 5000 building are valued at 49500 building actual value is 45000 book value revised value is 49500 so there is an appreciation of 4500 then reserve for doubtful is estimated to be rupees 4450 what is the depreciation here 2500 but actual depreciation supposed to be there is 4450 so extra depreciation supposed to be created here to the extent of 4450 sorry to the extent of difference between these two 4450 minus 2500 okay so i think uh, we'll get that amount 1000 uh, 4450 minus uh, 2500 is equal to 1950 that is to be that goes to the revaluation account debit side there is a liability to the extent of bills discounted amounting to rupees 1650 not received in the rec uh, received in the books so that has to be recorded in the revaluation account debit side then a and c have decided to continue the business but uh, the new profit sharing ratio will be 3 is to 2. Uh, they have also agreed to bring sufficient cash in the uh, new ratio to pay, uh, pay out B. So here uh, his uh, balance is going to be paid. So the existing partner, continuing partner are going to uh, bring the cash for paying the balance of B. Now let us prepare the ledger accounts and balance sheet. Okay. So here... Uh, the sacrifice ratio is calculated like this sacrifice ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio so so therefore a's ratio his new share is 3 by 5 minus his old share 3 out of 6 so his share will be 3 out of 30 then c's ratio is a new ratio 2 out of 5 minus 1 out of 6 is the old profit sharing ratio so therefore 7 out of 30 so therefore the sacrifice ratio is 3 is to 7 now let us prepare the first ledger account revaluation account okay so here all these assets appreciated these assets decreased and here look at here 1950 is the extra amount uh, created in the form of reserve for doubtful debt then there's a liability not recorded is received recorded here 1650 okay then the profit total profit of revaluation 1200 is distributed among these three in the according to their old profit sharing ratio that is 3 is to 2 is to 1 now let us move on to the next ledger uh, es capital account so es capital account no before that uh, we have to uh, prepare the b's capital account b's capital account let us prepare so b's capital b is the retiring partner see a balance brought on 30000 then revaluation profit 400 general reserve 1000 then uh, profit and loss account part of it is okay his portion according to the new profit sharing sorry old profit sharing ratio then goodwill goodwill uh, for his uh, part it comes to 6000 okay fine so now the total amount supposed to be paid is 40400 which is paid so therefore we have written bank account otherwise if it is not paid then we have to write to b's loan account okay now he has to he is paid by rupees by paying 40,400. Now let us move on to A's capital account. Here, first one is balance brought on 40,000. This is the balance sheet opening. Revaluation power profit 600. 
generalize his portion is 1500 then profit and loss account his portion 4500 then cash paid uh, to the retiring partner which is 24400 which is uh, distributed among them on the basis of new profit sharing ratio okay now uh, here goodwill account so return of so here uh, goodwill account 6000 into 3 by 10 so we have calculated the gain ratio so accordingly it has to be distributed so a has to bring uh, sorry a so account is debited with 1800 amount of goodwill so balance left is 69040 last account sees capital account balance brought on 25000 revaluation profit 200 general reserve his portion 500 profit and loss account his portion 1500 and the cash supposed to be brought by him is 16,160. Okay, fine. And goodwill, his portion is uh, 7 out of 10, so 4,200. So, therefore, the balance left is 39,160. Finally, the balance sheet. Balance sheet of A and C as at 31st December 2018. So, cash balance 2,500. Debt is 18,000 minus 4,450. This is the total amount of reserves supposed to be maintained as per the adjustment. So you have to be very careful. So ignore the uh, reserve which is uh, given in the old balance sheet. Okay. So the adjustment total amount uh, you take it as it is. So 13,550. Stock 30,000. Vehicle 6,800. After deducting the uh, making the adjustment, machinery 31,500. Buildings 49,500. Sundry creditors 3000, bills payable 5000, bank overdraft 6000, loan 10000. As it is, there is no adjustment for them. And this liability was not there in the old balance sheet, but in the adjustment it was given. So that we brought it here. So liabilities for bills discounted 1650. So finally, lab capital account A 69,040, C 39,160. So total capital is 1,8200. Okay, here uh, the capital, as far as cash is concerned, uh, like B, his balance was paid, but uh, they are paid out from the capital accounts of, uh, uh, by, they are paid by the uh, continuing partner. So, uh, whatever amount paid to B is being recovered by the continuing partner. So, therefore, the net uh, balance will be zero. So, they at least not going to have any impact on the opening balance sheet opening balance of cash so therefore i didn't show the working note here so it is 2500 okay fine thank you